the stifle in a horse is uh, analogous to the knee in a human. Uh, it's the joint that exists between the uh, femur and the tibia. It has a, uh, a tendon that extends from the quadriceps down into a patella, a patella and a patellar tendon that attaches to the top of the tibia. Um, this is a uh, you know, typical situation in all horses that I'm aware of. They both have two stifles, which most people have two knees. And uh, essentially, uh, it, it can be a source of lameness problems. Um, obviously, if they have uh, the ability to lock this up, when we see a horse rest one limb and, or hind limb and not the other one, they have the ability to take the uh, patellar tendon, lock it up over the uh, little trochlear notch on the femur, and it will basically take the contractile away from the muscle group so they can do this without exerting any energy. Uh, they can release that just by a slight flexion of the, or a little bit of uh, extension of the quadriceps and pull it up over that and they'll do the same thing on the opposite side. The only problem that can exist when is when there is a little bit of laxity in those tendons and they tend to lock up or create a uh, uh, upward fixation of the patella, which basically is an area where they, the patellar tendon locks up over that greater uh, uh, trochlea on the femur and will basically create a lamus deficit or a locked up stifle. In this particular case, we go into internal blister to, to remedy this, that we internal blister the ligaments on the stifle and I think I've had like 100% success doing that over the last 25, 30 years. Is that mostly young horses or older? No, it tends, you can see them both. You can yeah. see it in any age. Yeah. Yeah.